Okay, so everybody, please tell me how many questions you did. I believe there are some people already finished. Good job, because today we're having a very big number, okay? Very proud of you. Good job, okay? So the rest of you, if you didn't finish it, it's fine. If, hey, hey, Margaret, 你现在还在吃中药吗? <laughs> Why are you drinking Chinese medicine? Okay, so let me see. Okay, you're in your dad's computer. Okay, Gordon, not bad. Oliver, not bad. Oops. Okay, everybody, very good. Ollie, did you send it to me? How many questions you did? I think you didn't send it to me yet. You finished? Okay, good job. Okay, so today we're going to learn the part is called uh, geometry, okay? So as I know, most of the students in Canada or even in China, geometry is not as good as algebra. Correct, Daniel? Okay, so if I ask you to do like uh, 2x plus y, something like that, most of the students in this class know how to do it very well. Correct? But if you are aware of um, something like triangles, angles, and everything, I have to say, okay. But seriously, what is AI companion? I don't know. Like every time, like there are so many students ask me to give the permission to the AI companion, but I don't know what it is. There is don't, don't do the AI companion. The AI uh -huh. companion, uh, I use that, that is, when the teacher uses that, he uses AI companion because it's a new feature, right? And then he uses it, and then he looks at his that. A companion, he said that summary is that. Then he Daniel was talking about jail. He was very naughty and he smashed his iPad. Then he said that all the bad things are Okay, so Jeff, you don't want to use it, okay? Okay, okay. Usually my students ask me to allow, allow them to use the AI companion. I usually let them use it, but I don't know what it is anymore. Okay, anyway, so today we're going to learn the algebra. We're learning the geometry, okay? So geometry is learning something about shapes. Luciana, Ollie, very good. Jeff is really good. Oliver is really good as well. Okay, 对对对嘛. Oh, Gordon, I want to see your... No, Oliver, too much. Okay, let's go to the class. Okay? okay, so let's take a look at today's thing, okay? So today we're going to learn the thing is called angles. Okay, so anybody who can tell me what is acute angles? It's like smaller than yep. 90. Very good. Smaller than 90 and bigger than zero. It's 90 degrees, okay? So right angle is 90 degrees. And obtuse angle is between 90 to 180. Okay? So there's a very important one is straight angles, okay? So if you have a straight angle, this is actually a line. Okay, straight angle is 180 degrees. And we also have vertical angles. So the vertical angles is actually angle facing each other. Okay, so if you take a look at here, we have A and B are vertical angles, and also C and D are also, are also vertical angles. Correct, everybody? Do you understand? Okay, so if you understood, let's take a look at this one. So who still remember what is complementary angles? Oliver, Jeff, Daniel, Jeff, 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 Jeff,
uh, uh, angle that adds up two angles that up, add up to 90. Very good. Two angles plus together equals 90. Okay, very good. And Ali, what is supplementary angles? The supplementary, angle, the supplementary angles are two angles that plus together equals 180. Okay, so now let's take a look at the next one, the isosceles triangles, okay? So if you have isosceles triangles, that means two lines are equal or not equal. Uh, equal, okay? So your Chinese is just like a right angle. Ali, understand? So there's a very important thing, okay? So when you have an angle, it's facing the line. And there's another angle is facing another line. So if these two lines are equal, then these angles are equal. On the other hand, if you have two angles, they are equal. Then the side facing them are also equal. Understood? Okay, so let's take a look at the next one, the equilateral triangles. Equilateral triangles are three lines of the triangles are all the same. On the other hand, the three angles, which is inside these three angles are the same as well. Because the triangles inside angles degree is 180. So that's why each of the angle are 60 degrees because it's 180 divided by three. Understand? Okay, so let's go over, okay? So now let's take a look at the relationship of angles form, formed by parallel lines, okay? So we have alternate interior angles, okay? So if you have two parallel lines, what is par two parallel lines? These two lines are parallel to each other. Okay, you have a line. So this angle four and angle five are the same to each other. We call it alternate interior angles. Understand? Okay, please write down this one. Okay, alternate interior angles. I want you to write this one. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. So now let's take a look at number eight, one and number eight. So number one and number eight are exterior alternate angles. Taman is alternate angles, but they are outside. Get it, Ollie? So this four and five inside and one and eight is exterior. Get it, Gordon? Please write it down, okay? And now we all have the huh? all of them, all, all of the angles are the same. Yeah. Alternate interior angles equals to each other and alternate exterior angles are equals to each other. But Jeff, you need to understand which of these angles are called alternate interior and which of them are called exterior inter uh, alternate interior. Understand, Daniel? Okay, so there's possibility that one day you're doing a question AMC 8 or AMC 10. It's not that you don't know how to do it. It's that you don't understand the question is telling you. For instance, the question telling you, there are two alternate exterior angles are equals to each other, but you don't have that one there. So it's just impossible for you to understand what is the question talking about, correct? Mm hmm
Okay, so let's take a look at this one. So the next one is interior angles on the same sides of transversal. Okay, you see these two angles, they plus together. They actually what? They are supplementary angles to each other. Understand? Four and six, they are called interior angles on the same sides of transversal. So they plus together equals 180. Okay, so the last one is corresponding angles, which is these two angles, so they are the same. Okay, are you ready, everybody? If you count down, you copy everything down. So we're going to start to learn something together. And somebody's chatting me. I'm sorry. You're talking about AI companion. <laughs> okay, so first of all, let's take a look at this one. Do you copy everything already, everybody? Okay. You good? You good? If you're, you need more time, let me know, okay? So the next one is the angles, okay? So the theorem one, we're going to learn the theorem one. So everybody, I want you to understand, okay? Theorem, you can directly use them when you are solving the problem. For instance, I'm going to tell you, Jeff, the interior angles inside a triangle is 180. The interior angles inside a square is 360 and the interior angles inside a pentagon is 540, 540, right? So these kind of things, you don't have to prove it, but you can directly use it. But here for the theorem one, I'm going to prove it to you why the interior angles of a three angles of a triangle plus together equals 180. Get it, everybody? Okay, so first of all, I'm going to make a parallel line as M which is parallel to BC. Everybody, please take a look at the board, okay? Because, you know, today we're learning the uh, algebra, not algebra, but uh, the uh, geometry. So everything is related about the shapes and everything. So I want you to fully focus on me, okay? 我不管你觉得老师好看还是不好看,反正都要看着我,知道了吗? <laughs> 而且老师也不难看,对不对?没有吗? <laughs> 好, okay, so let's take a look at this one. We have a line, right? So, Daniel, if I name this one as angle one, don't you think X is actually equals to angle one, right? Because M and CB is parallel to each other, correct? And also, if I name angle C as two, so angle two and angle Y is the same as well, correct? You can see angle one, angle A, angle Y plus together, they are actually what? There is a straight angle, which is 180. So that's why angle A plus angle B plus angle C also equals 180. Understand everybody? Okay, so this is how we get it. It's not like, oh, there's one day, there's somebody coming to you and say, hey, Oliver, so 180 is the interior angle in, in of, a, of a triangle. 你可以说的为什么呀? 为什么是这样的呀? 对不对? So now I explain it to you. Why it is that? Okay? Okay. So let's take a look at number three and two. I want, Luciana, could you please read it for me? Theorem two? Because I'm pretty sure you said measure 32. Yeah, no, theorem two, please. Read it, theorem two for me. The measure of each, each exterior angle of a triangle equals the sum of the measure of its two remote non-adjacent interior angles. C equals A plus B, X equals B plus C, C, Y equals C plus A. Proof, B plus Y equals 180 degrees. A plus B plus C equals 180 degrees. Bracket one, bracket minus, bracket two, bracket. 
plus y <laughs> minus bracket c plus a. No, 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 we don't have to bracket. The, the theorem two is good, okay? So what does it mean? Let's say the measurement of each exterior angles of a triangle equals the sum of the measures of the two remote non-adjacent interior angles. Z, Z is the non, is, is, is what? Is the exterior angle of C, correct, everybody? So Z equals A plus B. Why? Because C plus A plus B equals 180. And Z plus C also equals 180. So that's why Z equals A plus B. So for this part, this is actually a, a little bit algebra, right? In way, because Z plus C equals 180 equals C plus A plus B, correct? So both of them have C, so we don't need that. So Z equals A plus B. Understand everybody? So please copy this down on your paper, okay? Okay, everybody, after you copy down, let's take a look at theorem three, okay? The sum of the measure of the exterior angles of the triangle equals 360, okay? So this is another thing, okay? So I'm going to tell you, because X equals B plus C, right? We know from the theorem two. And Y equals A plus C. And Z equals A plus B, right? So if you plus A plus B, oh, X plus Y plus Z together, is it equals 2A plus 2B plus 2C, right? Since one set of ABC equals 180, so that's why two sets of the ABC equals 360. So on the other hand, if you have a triangle and if you want to calculate the exterior angles of a triangle, it's 360. So now I have to ask everybody a quick, quick, very quick question, okay? If you have a pentagon, sorry, we started with this, we, we started with a quad, quad, quadrilateral, okay? Quadrilateral is what? Is a sibianxing, right? So sibianxing could be rectangle, could be square, could be anything, right, Ali? Okay, so Jeff and Gordon, you think about it. We already know that in exterior angles of a triangle is 360. Could you please tell me what is the exterior angles of a rectangle or quadrilateral? So any four sides thing.
Okay, so who did you send it to me? Let me see. 怎么还在说这个 ？What is the exterior angles of a rig of a equilateral? 有没有人做出来的？那你随便选一个，小朋友们。我们随便选一个正方形好啦，对不对 ，Luciana， h o l l y 对不对？老师跟你们说了，当你们发觉有道题目不会做的时候，找一个 special case。那我找一下，是不是每一个都有一个 outside angles？ Correct？ OK， 那我们来看看这个 outside angle 是什么 ？What is the outside angle of the first one？ 90？ Ninety. Yes. Very good, Ollie. Ninety. Ninety. And ninety. Okay. So the exterior angles of a rectangle still three hundred sixty. Okay. So everybody, if you want to copy it down, let me just to tell you. Okay. So every single exterior angle of any pound 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 pentagon, they always three hundred sixty. 记得了吗？任何一个多边形的外角。外角和都是三百六十度。Okay, okay. So let's take a look at theorem four. The four angles in the figure below have the following relationship: angle D equals angle A plus angle B plus angle C. Everybody, take a look. Okay, everybody, please copy this down. Okay, so now I'm going to prove it to you why it is like that. Okay, so I'm going to extend AD and intersect BC at E. Okay, then you have a angle A. Get it, Ollie? Get it,、uh, Oliver? Daniel? Did you see that? Okay, so after you have that, because A is actually the exterior angle, the sum of the AB, right? Correct, everybody. Because A is the exterior of C, right? Uh, uh, exterior angle of E, right? So it's the sum of AB, correct? And D is the exterior angle of this one, which is the sum of A plus C, right? Because A equals A plus B, and C D equals A plus C, so that's why D equals A plus B plus C. Understood, everybody? Okay, so let's take a look at example three and yeah, example three. 好了好了 ，example three 太简单了，大家自己做一下，好不好？ Okay, too simple. I won't talk about it, okay, boys? Ali, too simple. We won't talk about it, okay? So number C, uh, I'm not supposed to put this answer like block it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
Can I go and get some water? Yeah, of course. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. So the sum of the measures of the angle A, B, C, D, E is in the companion figure as the before, right? So we want to know that the sum of them are less than 180 and bigger than 180, or how do we do this one? We're going to use the theorem number three or number four. <laughs> Theorem number two. Theorem number four. Theorem number uh, theorem number four. 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 So let's take a look at this one, everybody. So because they want to know the sum A plus B plus C plus D plus E equals what, right? So you can see... So you can see, draw the line that parallel to the side AC, okay? So like that, okay? So have one and two. So we have one plus B plus two equals 180. Correct, everybody? And CEF, is also angle three equals angle five plus angle angle six. Why angle five, angle six? Because angle three is the exterior angle of triangle FEC. triangle ADG ADG angle four equals angle A plus angle seven. That's why angle one equals angle five plus angle six. And angle two equals angle seven plus angle eight because one equals three and two equals four. This is what, this is theorem one, right? So everybody, that's why based on that, all of them plus together equals 180. So the answer is B. Okay, so let's take a look at example five. Okay, boys and girls. And if you don't understand, just ask the teacher. Okay, don't wait. 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 Okay,
Okay, so everybody, if you finish this question, I'm going to just to tell you, okay, so two angles of isosceles triangles measures 40 and x, x degrees. So Luciana, you have anyone told you that this is in the middle or in the middle? No one told you, right? So yeah, very good. Nobody said that, okay? So there is a possibility that... This is a little bit too small. So there's a possibility that this is 70 and this is 70 and this is X, correct? Correct, also, and there's also another one is this is X, this is X, this is 70, correct? So we can know this X equals 40 and this X equals 55. already all of them? No, there's another one. 对不对? Jeff, understand? There's possibility that X equals 70. And so that's why they are all together, four different ones. So it's X equals 70 and X equals, so that's why. So X could equals to 55, 40, and also 70. So plus together equals 160. Okay, very good. Okay, so now let's take a look at example six. Okay, example six. Yeah, well, but this is the answer. I'm going to find out. Otherwise, I'm not going to give you the answer. The orange color has a bit of a scare. OK, so in the triangle cat, <laughs> so it's not a cat, it's C-A-T, OK? So A-C-T equals A-T-C. So we know that is the isosceles triangle, right? So C-A-T is 40. So if T-R biosets the A-T-C, so that means these two angles are equals to each other, OK? So everybody, when you are learning uh, geometry, I'm going to just to strongly suggest you don't use something like that because those ones very easy to be forgotten. Okay, so when we do that, you can just name one equals two. Get it, John? Get it, Oliver? Okay, it's gonna help you understand those questions much quicker. So you know one and A, one and two is the same. And because that's 40 and we know this is 70 and that's the 70. So one of the angle is 
35. So they asked me, what is CRA? So sorry, CRT. So CRT is this one. So basically, this is outer side of 40 plus 2. So it's 40 plus 35 equals 75. So the answer is C. Understood, everybody? Louisiana? Okay, good job. So now let's take a look at... Example Okay, so let's take a look at this one. This question is very different, okay? So a lot of students don't understand this question is what they want. If the complementary, the complements of an angle A and B are complementary. Okay, so if you have an angle A, okay, Luciana, and the complementary of angle A is 90 minus A, get it? And you have another angle B, and the complementary of angle B is 90 minus B. And these two angles are complementary to each other. That means these two angles plus together equals what? Equals 90. Get it, everybody? Okay, so the question is, then what is the supplementary of angle A and B? So that means I want to know 180 minus a plus B equals what? Get everybody? So that is the question they wanted. This question is more like an art question. <laughs> okay, 好, 老师给你们讲清楚了, 然后再看看做一下, 能不能做对, Okay, so everybody, if you take a look at this one, it's one, yeah. It's 180 minus A plus B equals 90, right? So A plus B equals 90. 
So the supplementary of A and B is 180 minus 90 equals 90 degrees. Get it, everybody? Okay, so you have to understand the question by one by one, okay? So let's take a look at this one. So example eight, the measurement of an angle for which of the measurements of supplementary is four times, Okay, ha, number example eight. Carrie, can I go to Washington? Yeah, of course. Okay, so the measurement of the angle for which the measure of the supplementary is four times the measurement of the complementary, okay? This one looks like an, an uh, algebra, uh, looks like an uh, um, geometry question, but it's actually it's an algebra, correct, everybody? Mm -hmm. So 180 minus x equals four times 90 minus x, correct? Everybody, do you understand? Because this one is a supplementary of this angle, and this is complementary of this angle, and the supplementary is four times of the complementary. So it's 180 minus x equals 360 minus 4x. So 3x equals 180, so x equals 60. So the answer is C. Okay. 不懂的马上问啊,不要到时候回家了做不出来。Wait, so complementary is uh is ninety degrees. Oh, okay. Correct. Okay, so let's take a look at number nine. Okay, let's take a look at number nine. In the figure, angle one, eh, no, no, angle one, no, no. Ah, this is a question.
Wait, can wait. Mm -hmm. Angle five equals three x, or is it? What what is that l? Slash l that means parallel. Oh, very good. Angle one equals seven x plus ten, right? And angle five equals three x. So what is the relationship between angle one and angle five, Jeff? It's like uh one hundred eighty degrees. Get it back to the earlier one I asked you to write down. They are called, what is the name of that? I ask you to copy it down. It's here. It's called. Um, I think it's something interior. Or something. Yeah, <laughs> something, something. Interior angles on the same sides of transversal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Luciana had it. Good job. Get it? Okay, so that's why these two angles plus together equals 180. So that's why we have seven, we have seven X plus 10 plus three X equals 180. So 10 X equals 170, so X equals 70. Okay, so some people say, oh, 17 is the final answer. No, we want to know the angle two. So we need to find the angle one first is 17 times seven plus 10 and using 180 minus 10. Or we can just easily because angle two equals angle five. So we can do just a 17 times three equals 51 is the final answer. Understand? There are two ways of doing that. It doesn't necessarily to do the other way around, okay? So now let's take a look at number 10. Mm -hmm. 
了。OK， 奥利做好了。Jeffrey 已经现在不是人了，我跟你说。Daniel， 你做完了吗 ？Oliver，Gordon，Gordon，Can you tell me how to do this question？ 不理我。Luciana 做好了吗 ？OK， X、Y and Z are the measurement of showing. So line one and line two are parallel to each other. So we want to find out the 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 the, the, the measurement of X. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to extend this one here. So you have to understand. I want you to just to highlight it all the part which is the same. For instance, X is here, X is here, and X is also here. Correct? It's easy. But do we have to do something like that? No, okay? So you can see there is a triangle, right? So Z is what? Z equals 180. So if you see X is here. So X basically equals 180 minus U, correct? If you make U here. Am I right, everybody? Nobody asked, nobody. And y equals u plus z, correct? So on the other hand, u equals y minus z. So I replace u, so it's equals 180 minus y minus z. So don't forget there's a bracket. So 180 minus y plus z is the answer. So the answer is d. Understood everybody? Okay, so now let's take a look at the next one, okay? 我先把答案哎封掉,这样你们就看不见了。Okay, <laughs> number 11. 聪不聪明,我聪不聪明? Okay, so number 11, please do number 11. Okay, so let's take a look at this one, everybody. We want to find the value of y. I don't want anything else, okay? So you need to find out what is y first. And you have to know that y actually equals to what, uh, Jeff? Oh, um. So you can see y and the 3x form a straight line angle. So the straight and line angle is 180. So y plus what equals 180? Three X plus Y equals one hundred eighty. Three X plus Y equals one hundred eighty. Okay, so now let's take a look at this one. So y and this y, y is here and also this y equals to each other, right? So y also 4x minus 28 
plus y also equals 180, correct? Am I right, everybody? Okay, so you're gonna find out there are two equations with x and y. Actually, you can find out what is the value of x and what is the value of y directly. Get it? Okay, so I'm not going to explain this question because we have learned this one a long time ago, okay? Okay, so let's take a look at number 12. Okay, number 12. In the figure, L parallel to N and angle one equals 100 and angle two equals 120 and find out the angle of three. Um, you forgot to cover up the answer. No, who said this is the right answer? Okay, 好，我们来看一下。Because these two are the same, I'm going to add for this one. We need to add a line on top of it. Everybody, please take a look. Okay. Get it, everybody. Okay, so if you take a look at this one, this is 100 and these two are parallel to each other. That means this little red one equals 80. And because the whole thing is 120, this is 40. So this one's also 140. Understand everybody, I cut this little single one into two separate angles and one of them is 40 and one of them is 80. So then you can find out the angle three is 140. All of you understand? 没问题啊，没问题，老师再下去了。有问题说好不好 ？OK， 都不说说话了。OK， so now let's take a look at example three. OK， example thirteen. I'm sorry. Example thirteen. So. OK， example thirteen. Boys and girls, please take a look at the question, and we're going to explain it later.
，这个是不是有点麻烦 ？OK， 我跟小朋友说啊，不麻烦，还 OK。So there's， a, 哎，我觉得 Ollie 啊，一直上课的时候就好像带了一个航空的枕头一样的，<笑>我不知道为什么，我就觉得他一直这里带了一个航空枕头，随时可以睡觉的感觉。OK， so， 呃、uh, ，Oliver and Gordon。看好了，就这个题目，老师给你们讲一下。我有个诀窍教给你们，好不好 ？There's a there's a trick, OK? So MBA 不太好说 ，OK? 但是呢 ，TQ bisect 对不对？那你就把它变成什么 ？You you 就一样的，你用同样的字母把它标出来。那这个也是 you， 看到了吗？好了，一样的，这两个因为这两个一样，所以是 V 和 V， 然后一样的把它标出来。Do you understand what I mean? So by using this, then you can save a lot of time because every time you see oh B M B A or B C Q, it is very hard to find it. But uh, Oliver, if I directly Daniel, I directly said, "Where's angle V?" You 马上就找到了 Where's angle U? You 马上就找到了 Understand? But it takes a longer time for your brain to react on angle Q B C other than angle U. Okay, understand everybody. So we want to know the measurement of BQC. So BQC is X, right? So you can see X is what is the X the 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 the, the, the X plus U equals X plus U equals V, right? And X plus U plus V also equals one hundred eighty. Correct, everybody. Okay, so if you have those ones, you can find out why. I'm here. One second. We all do it. Y plus two U plus two V equals three hundred sixty. Do you still remember that? Because that's the exterior angle of a triangle. This is also the exterior triangle. This is also the exterior triangle. What is the sum of the three exterior triangle of any triangles? Three hundred sixty. Correct. Actually, all the exterior angle for any pentagons is all three hundred sixty, and also because U V plus U plus X equals one hundred eighty, so we have the thing is Y equals two X. So the answer is B. Okay, ah, number fourteen. So please do the number fourteen yourself. <laughs> number fourteen. 啊，你们眼睛闭上，不要看。等一下，等一下，我把这个下面弄掉，那图不给你们看到。然后把答案遮掉。Terry， 嗯哼 ，How are we supposed to know？ 嗯哼 ，What five is？ 啊 ，Like we don't even know what the picture looks like. How are we supposed to know what five is？ 对对对对对，我我给你们看嘛，我现在给你们看，等一下，你稍等一下 ，One second。好了呀，哎呀，哎呀，又给你们看到了啊！这样子，哈哈，这样子，这样子看不到了吧 ？Okay, can you see the picture and everything? Terry, I don't know which, which is angle one, which is angle two, which is angle three. Oh, it's there. Oh, Can we send in chat? Yeah. Okay, I'm done.
Okay, so some people sent it to me already. So I'm going to explain this. So because angle one and angle two equals a plus together equals 180. And angle three equals angle four. Oh, you see, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Angle one is here. Because this is 40, this is 70. I know this is also 70, right? So this is 110. Okay, so angle three equals angle four. And because this is 110, so this one is what? Is 35 and 35. So find out angle five. Angle five equals the exterior of the non-adjacent angle sum. So it's 40, sorry, 110 plus 35 equals 145. So the angle is B. Very easy. Understood? Okay, so let's take a look at number 15. Okay, so we have triangle ABC is a triangle such as AB equals AC and angle A is 50. So the angle B, we don't have to do it, right? So it's just a, it's the 65 too easy. Okay, next one. Triangle XYZ are the measurement of the angles showing the figure. The sum of Y and Z in terms of X is what? Okay, so let's take a look at this one. So we have a triangle like that, okay? The sum of x and z in the term of x is, so what does in terms of x mean, okay? So that means, for instance, Ali, she is a girl, right? We can say Ali is a girl, is a student, but also Ali is her mother's daughter. So we can use Ali's mother to represent Ali in terms of Ali, understand? So just using another variable to determine this variable. Understand, everybody? So we see that in term using the sum of y and z in term of x, okay? So because this one is 90, this one is x, so this one is 90 minus x. Because this one is 90 minus x, this is vertical, so it's also 90 minus x. So 90 minus x plus y plus z should equals what? Equals 180, correct? So that's why we have x equals 180 minus, oh, sorry, x plus z. So y plus z equals 90 minus x, sorry, plus x, what I'm doing. Get it, everybody? So that's pretty easy, I think, okay? The only thing that's a little bit hard is like some student maybe don't understand what is in terms of B, right? In terms means you're just using another variable to represent this variable. Okay, so let's take a look at number 17. Wait, Kiri, what does the line on top mean? Hmm? Oh, this, that means this line equals this line. So okay. A equals C. Okay, so let's take a
Okay, so let's take a look at this one. So AC equals CD, right? AC equals CD. So if that's the case, AC equals CD, so they are tri isosceles triangles, right? So these two are equals to each other. That means these two angles are each other. So it's more difficult to see this So these two angles are equals to each other, right? So CAB minus ABC. CAB is there. CAB is there, right? Minus ABC. ABC, this one. So C, you can see how it's going. This is very difficult, right? It's going to turn it into Y. Zx. Correct, everybody? By using this one, it's much easier for you to understand the relationship between angles and the line. So x and x, and this is y and this is z. Correct? And we know that BAD, so we want to know BAD equals what. So basically, we want to know y equals what. Right? Everybody, I want you to understand x. CAB. So y equals what? Equals 40. What I'm doing. <laughs> so that means, uh, Jeff, Jeff. So that means x plus y minus z equals 40. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. And z equals what? Z equals, sorry, x equals what? X, Z plus Y. Don't you agree with me? Because X is exterior angle of the sum of the exterior non-adjacent one. You get it? Okay, so let's take a look at example 18. Okay, so let's see. The measurement of ABC is forty eighty bisects angle of BAC. Okay, and DC bisects angle BCA, the measurement of angle ADC is what? Okay, so let's take a look at this one. So we know the ABC is 40, the AD bisects BAC, so we have this one. <laughs> okay, so we can see this one is X and X, this is Y and Y. Correct, everybody? Okay, so if you're putting them together, is it 40 plus 2x plus 2y equals 180? Do you agree with me? Okay, so 2x plus 2y equals 140, correct, Jeff? So Oliver, x plus y equals what? Equals 70, correct? Okay, so now we try to find out angle ADC. Angle ADC equals what? Angle ADC plus x plus y equals 180, right? So angle ADC equals what? Equals 180 minus 70 equals 110. So the answer is C. Get it, boys and girls? Pretty easy, okay? So these ones I think is pretty, pretty easy. So let's take a look at number 19.
Oh, very good. Okay, so that's the same thing. That's the same thing, right? So if you have this one as x and x, this is y and y. So that's the same thing, right? So this a. The only thing is this time there's no real degree. So a plus two x plus y equals one hundred eighty. So x plus y equals 180 minus a over 2. Yeah. Right? So r equals what equals 180 minus 180 minus a over 2. So don't forget there's a bracket. So equals 90 plus a over 2. Sorry. Get it, everybody? Okay, yeah. so that is the today's home. That's today's class. And we are going to finish this $25, uh, not $25, this $25 questions okay all you need to do is just all the concept from one all the way to four so it's theorem four and you use them to solve all these 25 questions i don't think it's going to be super hard and i'm going to uh, send it to you by uh, the homework and, and I, i'm also going to send uh, the the theorem to you for you to study and review as well Okay, everybody, that's it for today's class. We're going to see each other next week, still do seven, okay? I know everybody, they, you still want the seven, so we do seven. How about? Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.